Mr Speaker. I move that the 69th Report of the Public Works Committee for the 54th Parliament entitled Underdale High School Redevelopment be noted. Mr Speaker, as you're aware, Underdale High School was allocated funding of 20 million as part of the Department for Education's Capital Works Program. When complete, the redevelopment works will enable Underdale to accommodate 850 students, which will support the transition of Year 7 students into high school. Mr Speaker, key features of the proposed redevelopment include new buildings, uh, such as a performing arts centre, a new school canteen, a new administration building, accommodating student services, and also a counselling area. Included as well in the scope of works are extensions to the gymnasium and the school's automotive workshop, which will provide a new metal work area. The project will further include refurbishment to existing buildings, external landscaping, and the demolition of aged buildings on the school site. The redevelopment project at Underdale High School is expected to be staged with construction scheduled for completion in December 2021. Mr Speaker, the committee examined written evidence in relation to the Underdale High School redevelopment project and is satisfied that the proposal has been subject to the appropriate agency consultation and meets the criteria for the examination of projects with which you are familiar and which is set out in the Parliamentary Committees Act 1991. Based on the evidence considered and pursuant to section 12C of the Parliamentary Committees Act 1991, the Public Works Committee reports to Parliament that it recommends the proposed scope of the works that I've outlined. The Minister for Education. Thank you, sir. I'm very pleased to have the opportunity in the brief time uh, left to us in the course of committee uh, business to discuss the redevelopment works at Underdale High School. And I'm very grateful to the work of the Public Works Committee in enabling uh, this and so many other school projects around Australia uh, to get underway. It's a critical stage in the process, that oversight on behalf of the Parliament and the people of South Australia of the expenditure of public funds. And this is a, an expenditure of $20 million of public funds on what will be an outstanding redevelopment uh, of the Underdale High School uh, uh, facility. Uh, this is a school which I had the great privilege of spending some time in uh, a bit over a year ago visiting uh, David Harris and his team, the, David Harris being the principal, uh, and indeed uh, meeting with a number of other members of the local community, the local member even uh, as well, uh, in that opening of their new STEM facility, which I think is enabling that school uh, to increase the output of young engineers, scientists, mathematicians uh, in their work. The addition of Year 7s coming in is anticipated to grow the school from uh, its its current numbers, which are a bit in excess of 500 to potentially in excess of 800 students. It's a growing school. It's a school with an awesome potential for that growth, and the facilities are going to look just outstanding. I encourage anybody who indeed uh, who is considering uh, where uh, uh, who is listening to this debate to jump on the Education Department's website and just have a look at some of the pictures under the new Capital Works Build of what this school is going to look like, what this $20 million transformation is going to do for Underdale High School. It's a school where the teaching and learning is of a higher calibre and a higher quality, but the facilities that are being created will ensure that the students attending this school uh, are, can walk in and feel the higher level of opportunity that is there for them and that will enable the facilitation of the teaching and learning to be done uh, in an area designed uh, for a modern pedagogy and the modern way of delivering that learning. Uh, Russell and Yelland are the architects and Wattpack Constructions are doing great work. Construction is underway and it's due to be completed in November next year. We'll see a new performing arts building combining music and drama areas, uh, performance space for 150 people uh, with partially retractable seating and canteen and classrooms, a new two-storey admin building adjacent to student services, an upgrade of the main school entry and refurbishment of reception a admin areas and amenities, general learning areas refurbishment, textile space, science laboratories, general learning areas, home ec building, uh, the extension to the gymnasium, uh, demolition of ageing architecture and the automotive workshop. There's a range of opportunities that will be opened up by this redevelopment. Can I say this is a school uh, which has also done some great work in recent years uh, in the bullying space. I think that the, uh, some of the feedback I had from the young people that I met when I was there, uh, I think a little over a year ago, uh, was just how proud they were 
of the way that the older students in the school support the younger students in the school, the way that compassion and kindness are important aspects of the values of what is taught in that school explicitly through some of the work that's done with the staff and indeed uh, in the values that the students have embraced in supporting each other in their development. I commend them for that. I commend those students for the ownership that they have taken uh, of their school values and ensuring that all young people at Underdale High School get a great education, get the safe learning areas that they desire, that they deserve, uh, and indeed that anybody who is uh, in the Underdale High School area can be very proud of their school uh, and looking forward to the great education that it offers uh, for their children and their young uh, people uh, in the inner western suburbs of South Australia of Adelaide. Yeah. The member for Colton. Thank you, sir. Uh, as a member uh, of this House and of the electorate of Colton, and uh, it, I do take in a very small portion of the, the Underdale zone, and given the crunch and the time limitations that I'm under, I just wanted to put on record my welcoming of the $20 million upgrade at Underdale High School. I know that it will put uh, that school in a great position moving forward to continue to uh, attract those around its local area to come uh, and see their full potential through the works that are being undertaken. Uh, I support the comments uh, and the sentiment that the Minister for Education has just expressed uh, and wish to place on record again my support of this development. The Member for Carville speaks. He closes debate. The Member for Carville. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I acknowledge the Minister for Education, Member for Colton, for their contribution to the debate? The Minister, of course, as I earlier remarked, has a very substantial program of work to support new capital works and to develop and enhance schools within his portfolio and across the state. And we're very grateful for the way in which he's discharging that responsibility, and not least in relation to this project, which is, as has earlier been remarked, substantial and transformational. It is a very significant investment. It's an important one. It will deliver exceptional facilities for the site, will support future growth but also the existing teaching program, which, as the Minister remarked, is of exceptional quality. The Leadership Garden's compassion and kindness, as was earlier remarked, in relation to the school group and, of course, school leadership group, is well known. It's important that it be recorded in this place that we're very appreciative for that leadership, the commitment of the school community to this project. And it's also important for me to acknowledge the very powerful and effective advocacy of the member for Colton, not just in relation to this project, but of course in relation to the project earlier addressed in this place uh, in respect of 